Hey everybody, Catsynth TV, and today we are looking at Passbot, a stochastic multi-filter plugin by Sonic Lab. It has a wide variety of controls and can seem quite complex at first. But don't worry, we'll break it all down for you here. First, as always, please do subscribe to this channel for more synthesizer content coming out regularly. And please do consider supporting us via Patreon or Ko-Fi. Links in the description below. The interface can be roughly divided into three sections. The first contains the radial visualization of all the filters, as well as many parameters for configuring the filter bank and its modulations. The middle section allows the parameters of the individual filters to be displayed and manipulated, and the lower section contains the four modulation sources. There are currently 20 filters active, and you can observe their changing characteristics on the central display. But let's start simple with the default preset, using just one filter and turning off the various modulations. The filter has three parameters, frequency, gain, and Q, which can be set directly in the middle display. Let's change the frequency... And now the Q. Notice how the radial display changes, with the frequency mapping to angle, the gain mapping to radius, and Q to the width of the triangular shape. There are four different filter types. A state variable filter, a ladder, a resonator, and a raw biquad. Each type further has various configurations for things like band and notch. Let's explore the state variable filter a bit more. And now the ladder. As you can hear, the filter types are quite different. I find SVF and ladder work well with small filter banks, and resonators with larger filter banks. Let's try setting up a bank with 10 state variable filters. We can control each parameter for each filter using the middle section just as we did before. One can shape the details of the sound in this way, but the real power comes when we add modulation. Passbot has four generators that can serve as modulation sources. Each can be set to one of many function types using these cool geometric buttons. There are function-specific controls, as well as more general controls for rate, scale, and smoothness, and a display of the generator signal itself. Let's look at generator 1. There are a variety of function sources available, representing common waveform types as well as many types of randomness or probability. Let's start with a triangle waveform. We can assign generator 1 to modulate the frequencies of the filters using this control in the upper section. Now let's try a different waveform. There are also a variety of probabilistic distributions for random or stochastic generators. The simplest is the Gaussian or normal distribution.
If we now switch to the Poisson distribution, you can see how both the generator and filter behaviors change. The Poisson distribution has a parameter for the expected rate that an event occurs. Now the definitions of all the probabilistic distributions is beyond the scope of this video, but for the purposes of PassBot, it's best to try each in the context of your filter configuration. Let's try the arcsine distribution, which favors values away from the average. We can set different generators to different parameters. Let's set a small discrete probability to the Q parameter. We can clamp the range of parameters like frequency using this control. Modulations that fall outside the range will be reflected back in, creating a tighter band of frequencies. Okay, let's return to the default and set up a bank of 42 resonators. We will use a noise source as input this time. Now instead of setting the frequencies independently, we can switch to the harmonic mode. Here, all of the frequencies are set to a fixed ratio of the frequency of filter 1. We can adjust the ratio to get different harmonic and inharmonic timbres. The harmonic ratio can also be modulated with a generator. Let's try that now. First with a waveform. And now a couple of different probabilistic distributions. Now in all of these examples, the filter frequencies move continuously. We can also apply a scale to the filter bank so that frequencies conform to a particular tuning or scale, something which can best be heard with the resonators in harmonic mode. Let's try a Dorian scale. And here is a pentatonic scale. I 
I really like that one. You can use any of the built-in scales or import your own using the Scala file format. Finally, let's look at some of the factory presets that come with PassBot, which you can load using this triangle button in the upper right. We hope that you have enjoyed this look at PassBot and have some ideas how you can use it as a unique effect in your own music. To find out more, please visit soniclab.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.